welcome to Thursday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic on one of my favourite Thursdays of the year because today is of course the first day of the, uh, well, the Masters Golf Tournament in Augusta, Georgia. Uh, one of my favourite places on earth and yeah, I'm going to be glued to that later on this evening UK time uh, and see how Mr Woods, Mr Spieth and other 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 golfers I admire greatly uh, do. Um, now, now I have firstly today. The first thing I need to say to you is I need to apologise for any forthcoming blunders. Um, I went out very unusually for me last night and and had a few drinks. And today I'm feeling extremely delicate. So if there are any uh, inefficiencies in my logical processes, you will know why. It's entirely and utterly to do with uh, being hungover and. Um, <laughs> Let's hope that this puzzle on screen serves as some sort of hair of the dog. Uh, this is called Vision and it's by KNT. Now I have not heard of KNT before, but apparently we've had this puzzle recommended a lot. Um, and it's uh, it's a chaos construction puzzle uh, by which I, uh, I mean that you can see there are no regions given in the grid. So normally, of course, the Sudoku grid would be divided into three by three blocks. There are no such things in this puzzle. We are going to have to build the regions ourselves. And I think this puzzle has a 100% rating on Logic Masters Germany, so it ought to be uh, well, it ought to be brilliant. I have no idea, however, how difficult it is. Um, now, do I have anything to tell you about? Yes, I do, actually. I have, I have one thing to mention before we kick off uh, with, with the rules of this one. And that's for our patrons over on Patreon. Yesterday, we released a video by Philip Newman. Um, Philip, of course, being the constructor of uh, Palpatine's design, one of the hardest classic Sudokus of all time. And Philip very kindly made a video explaining sort of how he came up with the idea of Palpatine's design and how to solve it. And also, go, he goes through in the video a lot of very difficult uh, classic Sudoku techniques. Well, the feedback we've been having on, on this video is incredible. I've, I've pinched a comment here from Emily Williams. I hope she doesn't mind, but it's it's basically an example of the sorts of comments we've got. Basically, it's saying that she absolutely loves the video. And as a novice setter, she found it very helpful um, in terms of how she's starting to, to think about setting puzzles. And also, of course, saying thank you to Philip, because Philip is one of the constructors of the gas puzzles over on our Discord server. And these are the genuinely approachable Sudoku puzzles. And there's one of those every single day. And indeed, there's one pencil puzzle as well every single day. So the good folk over on Discord doing a marvelous, marvelous service for the puzzle community. Um, if you're not familiar with it, check it out. You will enjoy it. Um, now, that all said and done, let's get on with vision and the rules thereof. They are as follows. Place the digits one to nine once each in every row, column and region. The regions must be determined by the solver. So we're going to have to work out where they are. Uh, each region is a set of nine orthogonally connected cells. Uh, so that means the regions don't have to be three by three blocks. They can be all sorts of shapes and sizes. They could be one like that, for example. Um, now, here's the complicated part of the rules. If a digit n is in a circle, then exactly the next n cells in the direction of the arrow and only those n cells are in the same region as that circle. OK, e.g. Thankfully, there is an example. If row 6, column 5 was a 2, then row 6, column 5, row 5, column 6 and row 4, column 7 would be in the same region. I, OK, that makes sense to me because that's saying that this two is saying in this direction and in the direction of the arrows, the next two cells are in the same region as the circle. So those three are in the same region. And that region would not include row three, column eight, which is that one, or row two, column nine, which is that one. So these could not be purple. OK, and that's because it's saying that once we once we specify a number for an arrow, you, you basically go that number of steps along the arrow. They are all in the region of the circle, but anything further along in that direction is not in the same region. So that makes total sense, I think, at least to me, I think at this point. Do have a go at the puzzle. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. Uh, and in fact, I've just remembered something else I was meant to tell you, which is that today Dave Gorman has published a new cryptic crossword, hasn't he? And I was planning to have a go at that before I realised I was too hungover. So I will try and do that later on if I feel up to it. 
and if the Masters Golf doesn't get in the way. So maybe look out for that tomorrow morning on the channel. Anyway, I was, I'm getting distracted. Do have a go at this. The way to play, click the link under the video. Now I get to play. Let's get cracking. And the way we shall get cracking is presumably we've got to fill in I was going to say, do we fill in all of the possible numbers for all of the circles, or do we just pick the ones that are close to the edge, like that one? Yeah, so this circle can only be a one or a two because there are only two cells possible along along the arrow. So that's a one or a two, I think. That one is a, well, that can be one, two, three, or four, I think. Uh, that one, one, two, three, that one can only be one, two. Oh, it can't be one. That's two or three. Right, okay, I'm going to just stop there because I've noticed something about this one. So if, if I've not misunderstood the rules, and there is that risk, um, what this is saying is we must, this, this circle, we go at least two cells along from the arrow. So one, two, and these two cells have to be in the same region as the circle but now you can see this circle obviously the circle must be in the same region as its arrow because we can't put zero in its arrow cell so i think that means that this circle is also therefore orange and therefore that can't be a two and needs to be a three um yeah okay this is this is this is nice right so now look at this cell now this this cell can't be a one because there's already a one in the column. So it's at least a two. And once it's at least a two, it's picking up this circle. So we know that this is the same as orange and therefore that must be a one, two, three, four, five, I think. So that's five. Those are orangeified. This has got to be, oh, right. That can't be a five because obviously five's in the column. So it must be more than five. So that's at least a six. So that's six, seven, eight, or nine. And that cell therefore must be orange. Now, this is very nice so far. So it's, it's unusual logic, but not that difficult to understand. So we've got seven cells in this region now. So that cell is not in the same region as orange. And that's because in order to connect these two cells together, in a region, you're going to have to take that cell or that cell, which means that these blue cells incorporate at least a three cell region and three plus seven is 10. And I've got to make the regions nine cells large, not 10 cells large. So I think we can color this blue and know it is different from its friend, the orange, its neighbor, the orange. Um, that cell's not a one or a three or a five. I don't, I don't know what the right strategy is here, whether it's I should just be highlighting the fact that I know that this region is at least therefore those cells. Um, and I know that because this must be at least a two, so it must incorporate at least those two cells. Probably what I'm meant to do is to go through and label up more of these um, that could be at most a four. Uh, more of these circles. That one is pointing at the blue region. Now, that's interesting, actually. One, two, three. Yes, okay, I'm going to look at this because I don't think this circle can be too big, by which I don't mean, I don't think it can reach blue. Because if it reaches that cell, which means if it's as high as four, if this was a four, well, then it would have to be five because it would see this cell as well. Um, but then we've got this, this structure of blues in the grid. Now that is a six cell diagonal line, none of which are orthogonally connected yet. So the only way of achieving an orthogonal connection between each of these digits is going to be to fill in one of the gap cells and create an 11 cell region, which won't work. And in fact, that's it now. Ah, but perhaps even simpler than that to understand this, why this can't be five, is that if this is five, what's that digit? Well, that would have to be the same number because you can't see any further. So we'd have two fives in blue and that's simply not gonna work. So yeah, I think this digit has to be no higher than three. One, two, three. yeah, that would not touch the other one. So one, two, or three here. 
Uh, that one can be as much as five, I want to say. That one can be as much as four. This one, one, two, three, four, five, perhaps. Although that one can't be three. So that's one, two, four, or five. Although again, I'm actually, can I just rule out fives in diagonal cells? I think I can. Because if that's a five, it's extending five. So one, two, three, four, five is saying those five are all in the same region. And again, I get this orthogonal connection problem, which is each of these purples needs to be connected to its friend. So I must take at least one of these two cells at each sort of crossing. And that's going to make, make an 11 cell region. So I think that's not possible. I'm going to, I'm going to state that for the fact that's not a three because of this three. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, hang on, that's very large. That's seven, that could be. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, but it can't be seven because that would connect it to orange and that would create a ginormous region. So that's, a, oh, that can't be six either. So that one's one, two, three, four, or five. Not actually, these aren't gonna be very useful, are they? That one is the same as this one. It has an identical logic. C6 can't meet the orange. And that cell could go all the way up the grid in theory. Although, no, actually, no, it can't. Because this, this being a one, at least, means those two are in the same region. So if this was one, two, three, it's gonna be eight, isn't it? If this was an eight and took the whole column, then it would be a nine cell region already. But once we added that cell, it would be a 10 cell region. So this has to be anything. This has to be seven or less. I'm not even pencil marking that. Mark would, but I, I'm not going to. That's just silly. Um, oh, I've not filled in this one. What can that one be? Ah, ah, okay. That's interesting. This one it suffers from the same fate as its diagonal friend up here. If this hit this cell, it would be, it would create too large a diagonal region to create, to make a nine cell region. So it can go as far as here only, which is, which is a three clue and it can't be a three. So that's a one or a two. Now I've got a one, two, four triple in row six. Ah, right, I understand. I see what's going on here. Okay, how could this one be a four? Now four on a di I think four on a diagonal is the absolute maximum you can have because you're gonna extend four and once you include the circle, you're creating a, a five cell line which you must connect at each each possible. So to connect this one to this one, one of these is necessary at least. To connect this one to this one, one of these is necessary. So once we take one of each of these pairs, we're going to get to a nine cell region. But this cell is saying I've got to take these two cells as well. So that's going to create a region that's at least size 11. So that doesn't work for this one. That one must be not four and that means that one is four and that's going to be massive because that is creating a real five cell line and we have to to connect this to this we're going to have to take one of those to connect this to this we're going to have to take one of those and therefore we now know that blue is not purple now you may have thought you knew that already before you started this puzzle but in the context of the puzzle we have now proved this because if if purple and blue were the same then we would have to take both of those cells into purple, which would already be a seven cell region, eight, nine, say 10. We're gonna have a 10 cell region at least to orthogonally connect all of the purples. So in, order, so in fact now that must be purple, that must be purple. One of these is purple to create the eighth purple cell and one of those is purple to create the ninth purple cell. And purple is nearly built. Um, orange. Oh, I see. I now know this cell. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a six. Sorry if that, I don't actually, maybe that hasn't been available until I got that four. So perhaps that wasn't dilatory of me. Um, okay. So purple is different from blue. 
ah, that can't be a 4, can it? Because that will connect this circle to purple. And purple is going to be completed basically by one of these and one of those. It's definitely not completed by that. So that's not 4. In fact, that's not 3. I've just realized 1, 2, 3 still connects it to purple. So that's 2. So those are the same. Now, hmm, okay, we're now starting to get into a realm where we might be, we might have to be careful because it's possible orange and grey are the same. Although, hmm, hang on, I want to just think about this now. It's not possible for this to be a 2, is it? If this is a 2, which it could be from by Sudoku, then in order to extend the green region to become 9 cells large, it will have to pick up the grey. And once it picks up the grey, it's got two 2s in it, which won't work. So that is simply not a 2. Now, if it's not a 2, it's got to be at least a 4, which means 1, 2. It means all of those become green. And the weird thing about that is that now green and grey could be the same again because there's no no prospect of a repeated digit. Uh, and if they were the same, we'd have eight cells in green grey and we need one more. Which it looks like it could get from a few different places. So. OK, so what what are the options for this then? Four or seven or eight. Eight's impossible, isn't it? Because eight's going to take the whole row and this digit is going to have to have a, this cell here is saying that's in the same region. So that's going to create a 10 cell region. So it's four or seven here, I think. So seven would be all of those and that one, and that would be the region. And that would put a lot of pressure on gray Hmm. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not quite sure whether I can un untangle that Gordian knot. Um, okay, let's see. If we got anything else pointing at purple, because that would be easier. No, is the answer. This one. That one might be difficult for it to be a two, because I'm just wondering about the white space it would have. If this was a two, it would definitely sort of create a boundary, wouldn't it? Now, is that boundary in any way problematic? Or do I know that? I do know. Ah, OK, sorry, I hadn't realised this. But because the corollary of this cell not being able to be purple is that this cell has to be a 1, which I hadn't realised. That's actually, unfortunately, one of the reason I just realised that is I was wondering about whether how, how we would avoid these both being 2s. But that's, that's now out of the window anyway. This is a 1, so it can absolutely join up. So it might be in, in this puzzle that blue and black are the same in the same region. In fact, hmm. in fact, I'm going to go further than that. If this is a two, it's now necessary that blue and black are in the same region, because if they're not, blue needs to be nine cells large, and there are only nine cells there. So it would take all those cells, and that's fine, except orange is now locked in at size 7 and can never grow to be size 9 which is really mean we've sort of made a bonsai tree out of out of orange it could never it could never grow up it would be the peter pan of strips in a sudoku so so what what are we now saying we're saying if this is a 2 Oh, you know what I haven't thought about? I've got this wrong. I've made a mistake. I'd, I'd assumed blue was not the same as orange. 
that's not true. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That works fine. Oh no. How much logic have I used to, to... Did I use that ever? Did I use my assumption that blue... I'm not sure. It actually looks like it's quite likely that blue and orange are the same. How would we disprove that? I mean, I can see how to do it now. Blue and orange can't be the same at this point of the solve because this digit could never, this could never be in a region because blue plus orange is a nine cell region. And we know to complete purple, we've got to take one of those and one of those. So this cell's never reachable. Why did I think that blue and orange were not the same? Was it just simply a digit count that I got wrong? Or was there some other cleverness about that? I remember, I remember even talking about it during the solve. I said orange and blue can't be the same. Yes. Okay, I've remembered. Sorry. It's correct. Thank goodness for that. Oh my goodness, I was having heart failure. Right. This is, I mean, this is entirely due to alcohol. Never drink alcohol. It's terrible. Now, I don't mean that. But, but look, the reason was, of course, I can't just leave those in isolation. In order to connect blue and orange, I need one of those to also be blue. And that will create a third blue, which definitely can't connect to orange. So my logic is intact, but now I'm completely thrown by this. So, okay, so what, why was I thinking about this? It was in relation to if, so if this is a two, yeah, okay, I know that orange and blue are different. And I know that orange, therefore, has to pick up two of these seven cells. Therefore, there is not enough room for blue to grow to be nine cells. So blue must merge with black. That is the point. If this is a two, blue and black become the same. Now, is that problematic? And the answer to that is, if those are two are, say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that could be, that could be purple. So actually, I don't think that is a problem, which is a bit surprising. So orange needs two more of the white cells, but I think it can get those easily enough. And then providing blue, sorry, providing this blue bit and this, blue, this used to be black bit are the same region, it doesn't seem to be so difficult to make that work. Although then we'd have to get a one into orange. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, that does not work. Right. This is getting complicated, but I think this is interesting. So why, why is this impossible now? It is impossible, and that's because orange needs a one in it. This one is ruling out a one of all, from all of those. This one, and that is a one, whatever happens, is ruling out all of those from being an orange one. So the only place, given orange has only got two cells to grow, the only place orange gets a one from is here. So those both turn orange. And now, unless I've mistaken the count here, this cell is never reachable by a region. Because in order to connect blue to these blues, both of those are necessary. So now we've reached, a, now we've reached um, six in terms of total sizeage, if you like. No, seven in terms of total sizeage. And then we need that one to connect. And then we need one of those to connect. And that's nine. A nine gives us a problem here because what what connects to this it can't be orange it can't be blue it needs to be purple but the moment it's purple now I think I've got nine purples one two three four five six seven eight nine and that one is stranded it's not orthogonally connected to its friends that is complicated and I'm sure I've over complicated that as a result of getting completely discombobulated in the middle of that by the fact that I couldn't see why I'd assumed that blue and orange were different but blue and orange are different so and this all goes to show that this is not a two this is a one and that means oh, that's interesting as well actually 
because now this region is not the same as blue because they've obviously both got ones in them. Oh, yeah, 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 this is lovely. Okay, now remember the question that got, got us into trouble with this being a two was asking where one went in orange. Where does one go in orange? And the answer is it can't go here anymore because of this one. It has to go there. So we can actually write a, an orange one into the grid. And now, and oh, right, this is absolutely beautiful. Now, now look at blue. We know that blue and yellow are not the same. We know that blue and purple are not the same. And that means blue must occupy entirely this sort of sideways pyramid in order to get to a count of nine cells. So that's forced. And now that must be purple. And that must be purple. And purple is forced. Yeah, that's nine purple. That yellow must come out to meet its friend. Good grief. So suddenly everything is becoming a little bit clearer. We've got a big purple region there. We've got a big orange region here. We've got the pyramid region there. And we've got... Okay, what have we got now? We've got... Right, we've got some Sudoku we can do. That's not a one. That is a two. So that means those three cells are in the same region. This one doesn't see anything, I don't think. That one, one, two, three, can't be purple, so it's not a three anymore. So this one is... So if that's a two, those are all in the same region. Is that strange or is that okay? That is not possible. Wow! Okay, so this is not a 2. And the reason it's not a 2 is how would we ever make green work? Because if we make green orange, we've got a... Well, I think that's at least a 10-cell region. It might even be bigger than that. And it's also isolating grey as a 3-cell region, which is impossible. So the only way of making green into a 9-cell region is to connect it with grey... And in order to get its ninth cell, it needs to take that one. And now that's five cells, but that can't be a five because of that cell. So that square and this square, these are not the same region. That has to be a one. Let's, um, let's just get rid of the color there. This has to be a one, not a two, which means those two are the same. Um, I'll make those as orange or blue, isn't it? Let's make them orange. Um, Okay, so now, and this must be, oh yeah, yeah, I see. Oh, the, the logic in this is lovely. KNT, this is really clever. Okay, so now the question I want to ask is, can green and gray be the same? Can they be the same color? because it's all of a sudden become too difficult for that to be true. If green and gray are the same, we've got eight cells in green gray and we need exactly one more. But orange is now at least two cells. Well, orange is two cells, so it can't take an orange. It can't take this because this is at least two cells. So it has to take that cell and that has to become green. But again, this can't be a five, so it simply doesn't work. So gray here uh, is different from green and therefore, in order for, for green to reach a size of nine, it has to pick up orange. So all of those turn um, green. How many cells have we now got in green? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I see, but that's... That one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so this needs to be a seven. That's what we learn which means that cell needs to be green. And now green has reached its core eight size. It's a size nine. And we can ring that one. Gray now has to come and hit it, hit the cell beneath it. That's got to be gray. Um, and that can't be a two, therefore. But I think it could still be a one. 
Uh, let me just think about this now. What does all that mean? And the answer to that is I don't know. Oh, it can't be a one. There's a one there. Oh, that's huge then. So that's got to be at least three. One, two. It's got to come at least to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, oh, okay. So gray is not the same as red because that would make a 10 cell region. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. Oh, that's be right. This is more beauty. K KNT just layers on the beauty because what on earth do we do with this region at the top of the grid? It's nine cells, nine white cells. So we need to make sure that if we start to pollute this by adding greys into it, that we can exactly take up all nine of these cells with just the regions grey and red. Because if we can't, we're going to be left with something that's stranded and can never reach size 9. Well, the maximum number of cells that grey can donate to this white region is 2. And the maximum number of cells that red can donate to this region is 6. And 2 plus 6 is 8. So there is going to be a leftover white cell that doesn't have a friend in the top left of the grid. And that's very sad. But it does mean that we must... We, that, that that lonely cell must in fact be surrounded by friends and be of size nine. So that is all uh, a region, is what that tells us. And that's gorgeous. So that's going to do huge work, isn't it? Because, yeah, we know that red and grey are different. Grey has to grow now. So grey must take, well, grey must take this cell because it must take it must get out and once it takes this cell it must take that cell otherwise that's a one cell region and that creates a nine cell region of grayness so the gray is done we can extend the red down we can we can probably do other things as well how could that not be red no okay that must be red because if it's not red, we've got to fit a nine cell region in somehow. And even if we could do that, we'd then have to ring, this red would have to ring that nine cell region to connect to its friends here. And it would be too large as a region. So that must be red. So red, we've got five cells of red. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's a storm outside. I've got, I've got six complete regions. I've got a seventh region of red. Red can't connect to yellow because that's going to be a bigger than size nine region. So I've got I've got eight regions now broadly identified and there must be another region somewhere in the bottom that we haven't really thought about. What's that cell? Ah, that's red. It's not one. I can't put one or two in the circle. So it's a, it, so it must be three because it can't connect with blue. So that's a three. That's all red. Red is now eight in size, so it can't, I mean, this is so clever. So it can't join to either of these arrows now because these arrows, you know, if, even if they're the minimum they can be, they're two cells large. So red's last cell is either there or there. How are we meant to tell which of those is which? What about that cell? Uh, hmm, sorry about this. I do not quite see how we're going to disambiguate all this, all of these nasty, <laughs> nasty circles and arrows in the bottom left of the grid. Sudoku gives me a seven here. It must be a seven in orange. It can't, and it can't be in any of those cells. Yeah, okay. Maybe maybe it is Sudoku. We've got I can place two and three in blue. This two three pair here have to go in those two cells. So that's two, that's three. That knocks two out of those two cells. So that one's become at least three. So ah oh so ah, but it might join to yellow, that's the problem. Yeah, so that is a string of digits. Um I'll make them What's a safe colour? I'll make them green. But we've got to bear in mind, I think, that green might turn out to be yellow. 
Uh, is that really plausible? If green and yellow were the same, there'd be seven cells there. That could be a region. And then that could be the last red. That's the, I think that's the only way that works. And then there would be a, a sort of nine cell region at the bottom of the grid. And that square would have to be a three, which it looks like it can be. Okay. Um, six and eight in column one have to be in those cells. How are we going to disambiguate this? I have a feeling it's actually I'm not even going to say what I was about to say. It's a daft thing to say. Oh, right. Here is something. Here is something rather gorgeous. And it wasn't what I was thinking at all. But I have spotted something that's interesting for the red region. Now, the last red is either here or here. Now, both of those cells, interestingly, see a 1. So neither of those can be the red 1. So where is the red 1? The red 1 must be in one of those four cells. And I think the only, the only candidate that's valid is that. So if that's the red 1, and it is, that is not a red 1. And that means that this region is at least those cells. Now, what does that mean? So that, I want to say that means this can't join yellow. Is that true? Because if that joined yellow, no, that's nonsense. That's impossible. If, the, if this joins yellow, that's creating a seven cell region. And even if I take a couple of cells down here and I allocate one of these to red, I'm going to isolate something in the bottom of the grid. So that, in fact, is a three which means that is not a three and that forces green to join yellow. So yellow and green are the same. Oh, but they're different from this region, which now can only get to size nine by taking all of the cells beneath it. So that's a nine cell region. This square here, one, two, three, is a four now. And hopefully, I think, I think that means this square it's got to join on to its friend here. Yes, red, red's last cell is now here, isn't it? And green needs to complete itself. So that forces green to complete. And we can fill this in as a 2. We can fill that in as a 3. We, we've done all the circles because uh, we've done all of, the, um, all of the region division. So in theory, we should just be left with an irregular Sudoku now. I say just with some trepidation because irregular Sudoku on camera is an absolute nightmare. <laughs> um, right, I'm just sorry. I'm just checking. I've done that. I'm going to change my black region because I know some people don't like me using the dark, the black on the on the on the blue numbers because it it's hard to see. So what I shall change that to is purple if that's all right. And then we get oh, but now I've not got no yellows in the grid. So maybe we should have a yellow region at the top to be to be fair to yellow. There we go. That's much prettier. Um, OK, so how do we do this part of the puzzle? We shall. Well, I shall note things like those two digits are the same, because whatever th is in there, where does it live in yellow? It must be there. So let's give those a f Oh, actually, that's not so good. Maybe I'll give those a light gray flash to remind me they're the same. We've got a lot of digits in column two. We have not got fives, sevens, and nines. Oh, so where does seven go in that column? It goes here. So that means mean we've got a five, nine pair left to place. We've got three digits there, which have to be the missing digits from red, which are four, five, and nine. That's not four. That's not five. And these squares have got to be two, six, and eight. And that's not two, because it sees that one. So there's now a six, eight pair here. And that sees six in its row. And unfortunately, unfortunately, I don't know that we can go much further than that. Ah, um, okay. Have we got any other, 
Have we got any other tricks we can do with the law of leftovers? Let's see. If... There's nothing immediately popping out to me. What about rows and columns and or boxes with a lot in them? Row six. We need five, six, eight and nine. That's very disappointing. Um, five, six, eight and nine into those squares. I don't I don't think there's anything better there. Uh oh no. Golly gosh, how do we do this? I'm really not sure. Um Oh, right. Okay, what about the bottom row? One Yeah, okay. I can get that digit. Because these three cells must be the same as those three cells in order to give, make sure purple has one of those three digits. And the only option for that cell seems to be six, therefore. So that's six, that's eight, that's eight, that's six. That's two. And this must be a one seven pair. That's no longer able to be eight. There's already an eight in its box. This row needs two, five, Two, four, five, and nine. Oh, that's lovely. Right, there's two, four here. So that's a five, nine pair, and that's a two, four pair at the end of the row. And that, oh, this, look, 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 this five, nine sees that five, nine through the medium of madness that is irregular Sudoku. So that becomes a six. So those lose their sixification, and we're left with fives, eights, and nines here. And those two digits now must be the missing digits from the box, which are three and seven which means sevens are sort of getting a bit um, pinioned in, aren't they, in column four and five. We can't have any more sevens up here, which is very annoying because we couldn't have had the sevens anyway in those three. That can't be a seven. Is that somehow important? Uh, seven in purple up here is in one of those three squares. I think that's as good as I can do. These three squares have got to be two, five and nine which is very annoying as well. That can't be five. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's a two, five, eight, nine quadruple in the pyramid here. So that can't be another two. Oh, there would be a repeated digit, so that's got to be four. That's two, that's nine. Those are two, five now. So those are eight, nine. That means this is five. That means this is four, nine. Actually, this is, yeah, this is good. This is good. Now seven in the in the pyramid has to go there. Whoops. Those two squares have got to be six. Oh, six and something. Six there. And we're missing a three from the pyramid. So that's a three. Oh, oh, look, 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 look. Seven was in one of those in my purple. So seven is now here because of this seven. Ah. Uh, nine in purple I'm now seeing has to be in one of uh, one of three positions no that's not very good what about those four and eight I think to complete column nine um, oh dear 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 come on <laughs> um, what about oh I tell you what what about two in purple Two, two, and two here. That's getting rid of most cells, so I think that's got to be the two in purple. So that's that's not two, that's five, that's two, that's five, that's nine, that's nine, that's eight, that's beautiful. Wow. Wow, okay, so suddenly we've got quite a lot of real estate done in columns eight and seven. So those squares have got to be five, eight, nine. Let's label that up and see if we can see what that means. That's no, not able to be eight. Okay, and in this column we need three, four, and six. So that's not three. That's not three. I see the three goes at the top. So this becomes a four, six pair. Doesn't look like it's resolved. Okay. 
Okay, so this six is doing the damage. I now understand this six on this purple region is locking out virtually the whole of the rest of it. So that becomes six, that becomes four. Six has to find a home in gray. Where is that? That's got to be here. Oh, so now maybe we look at column six. I'm jumping about a bit here, but two, four, and eight to place. That must, yes, where does two go in the column? It's got to go at the top. So this has got to be eight, and that's got to be four. And that locks eight out of this square, which makes this a five, nine, and places eight here. Now this square's now got to be three, because the purple needs a three. That eight is seeing an eight here and a four here. So that does the four and the nine. Oh, this is so good. That's a five. Um, and now I'm stuck. <laughs> um, oh, I tell you what, I might look at this digit though now, because that's my reflecting digit into row one, column one. And now I've got six digits in row two, which I didn't have the last time I looked at this. Five, seven, or nine. Oh. Oh, well, no, that's not bad, because this digit can't be seven. So those must be a five, nine. And that means there's a five, nine pair in, in row one, which means these squares have got to be four and six, I want to say. And there's a four here. So that's four and that's six. There's a five, nine pair in row two, which means we need a seven. So that should be here. So what, what are the missing digits from this blue region? We need to put a one in it. So it's one, five, and nine. Ah, oh no, no it's not. I've just realized I've got a five in it already so I can actually resolve all this. Nine, five, nine, nine, five. So the actual digits we need here are one and four. Oh, bother. Okay, one and four. That five is doing a nine down here. So those two squares should be known. They've got to be five and eight. Oh, okay, that's not resolved a bit, bit worryingly. Oh, but this three is doing some stuff. Three, seven, seven, one. So this should be one, five or eight. I'm really worried I'm going to end up with a deadly pattern here. Um, and this is five, eight. Oh, no, there you go. This cell is the beautiful one. Because this is, from this column's perspective, we need 5, 8 or 9, that sees 8, 9. So that becomes 5, which resolves this as a 1, 8, means this must be the 9. This 8 does the 8 here, and that does the 1, and that does the 1, and that does the 4, and that does the 8, and that does the 5, and that should be the correct solution. Wow, that was really quality. That's a, such an interesting puzzle. Very unusual rule set. Um, that worked beautifully. The left side of the grid was was cool. I'm not sure if there might have been a better way than the way I found of eventually uh, working out that this square wasn't a two. Uh, I really liked that anyway and I also really loved what happened with the red region and the fact it needed a one in it and that one there sort of explained how this bottom section worked and allowed us to um, allocate the digits to their regions appropriately. It's really clever really clever um let me know how you got on in the comments i do enjoy reading the comments especially when they're kind and we'll be back later with another edition of cracking the cryptic